This is my, well actually my mum's, Acer Travelmate 529TX with a screen that looks like this. So I thought, okay, I'm going to plug it into a monitor that I have, a spare monitor, and see what that looks like. So why am I using this again? Oh yes, it was shipped with Windows ME, and then it was upgraded to Windows XP. God, I love XP. Then I noticed it had a copy of Office 2000 on it. So what if I was going to make an OS in Windows 2000, and what would it be like? Well, I mean, this is what this video is all about, as you probably guessed from the title. So for my 500 subscribers special, this is something a little bit different. Cue the intro. First up, I tried to create the loading screen. Now, I realised there was no merge shape function, like subtract shapes, intersect shapes, so I could only layer shapes on top of each other. That was the best I could do. Also, the formatting available was pretty mediocre. You could only just add a hard shadow to something and that's it. You could change the orientation of the shadow, but you couldn't change the feather of the shadows. There was no soft shadows or no hard shadows, so I just, for the background, I decided to just make it out of a few triangles, make a rip off of the bliss wallpaper, but in sunset mode instead. Earlier on I discovered that you can't actually name shapes with a selection pane because there is no selection pane so you could see here I was just freezing for a moment thinking what the hell am I going to do so I decided to actually manually name my shapes by creating VBA code to do that for me and that was pretty tedious I can't imagine doing a full, uh, full system in PowerPoint 2000 it's not going to be very intuitive Nonetheless, I went for Windows System. I used a very easy method of ActiveX controls to create the Windows System, and it worked pretty well. However, the window dragging was easy, it was a window management that was a real issue, and I had to do a lot on that. Then I realised there was a bit of an issue. When you grouped items into a single group, you have to ungroup the group to be able to edit the items inside. Otherwise, any um, properties that you change will apply to all the elements in the group. So I had to keep ungrouping my group and then renaming it again using VBA. It's so irritating. The rest of the Windows system worked pretty well, until I got up to the bit where I had to know what the name of the group of a shape was, and that's where an error occurred. Usually you'd use dot um, parent group, but that uh, returned an error, which was access denied, and I'd never seen that before, so it must be something that was in the old version of Office. I didn't know how to properly use it, so instead I had to get the Z order position of the shape, and the Z order position of a shape is equal to the Z order of position of the shape's group, because uh, a group takes up only one slot in the Z order. Uh, so, I managed to find the group name of the shape from its Z order by using the index in the shapes, and that is how I returned it. And then the rest of the window system worked pretty flawlessly. After this, I was pretty stuck on what to add next. I thought minimization would be a good feature to implement. So I tried to do that, but then I was struggling to, ha to work out which uh, window to switch to after you close the current window. And that's where the problem lies, because I could cycle forwards and backwards and find the next group. But there was also another group called the Start Menu that had its own group. And that was a problem, because I didn't want to activate the Start Menu as a window, because the code would break. 
So I had to add a prefix of a dollar sign to, to I just chose that random for every window and then it would still run into, run into problems because what if you only had one window and you minimised that, what would it do? So I just gave up at that point and I decided to not implement minimization for the time being. 